Hello, my name is Shannon Piles, and this is Ezio. And today we're going to walk you through our very first lesson um, with the basics on how to do piano. I hope you enjoy. So to start our lessons, we're going to be using the Alfred's Basic Piano Library book here. This is um, the complete level one. It's shiny and silvery. Um, and we're just going to use this kind of as a guide and to get us started on today's lesson. So if you go ahead and pull out your book, and we're going to change, pull it here to page one. First, we're going to talk about how to sit. So when you sit at the piano, you want your shoulders to be straight, and you want your hands to be loose from your toes. Now, you want your knees to be apart, and you want your feet to be flat on the floor. If your feet aren't flat on the floor, then scoot forward until they are. And when we hold our hands, we want to hold them very, very loose at the um, arm. So when we hold our hands, we want to hold them like we have a ball in the middle of our hand. Just like this, like we're holding onto a ball or a bubble. We want to be really gentle while we're holding onto that bubble. It's going to pop. So very loose, just gently holding on. Um, also, with our hands, which we're going to look a little bit more to right now, uh, we will number our fingers. So, one is going to be your thumbs, two is going to be your index fingers, three is going to be your middle fingers, and four is going to be your ring fingers, and five be your pinkies. So, make sure we have them. Which ones are one? Which ones are four? Two? Five? Three? All right, so now that we have those down, we're gonna get down to the uh, actual part of the keyboard. All right, so here we have our keyboard. As you can see, mine's a little old and has some missing uh, missing skins and stuff, but that's okay. It still plays the same as any other keyboard. We have here, this is what middle C will be. We're going to be working with middle C a lot. In fact, when you position yourself, you're going to want to be right in front of middle C so that you can easily reach over here and you can easily reach on the bass side. So we have our middle C here. Um, we have, as you can see, we have white keys and we have black keys. Now for the first part of this, we're not going to be working with any white keys. We will be working with the black keys though. So, um, when we have the black keys, they can get kind of confusing because there's, there's quite a few black keys. So when we start out, we're just going to label these black keys. So we're going to have the two houses right here. And they are in between the forest of three trees on this side and the forest of three trees on that side. So we have the two houses and the three trees. Now when we put it on the two houses, we're going to use our second and our third finger. Second finger is going to go on here, and third finger is going to go on here. And it's going to be the same for the left hand. Second and third finger. Just like that. Alright, so let's try on the two houses there. Let's try putting the third finger down. The second finger. Second finger. Third finger. And how about our left hand now? Let's do second finger. Third. Third. Second. That's not hard at all. And we're going to learn one more thing and we'll be ready for our first song. Okay, so for page five, page five of your uh, book here, we have a one quarter note. So you can see by the letters here, it says music is made up of short tones and long tones. We write these tones in notes and we measure their lengths by counting. So one quarter note gets one count. So this is here is what we call a measure. 
A measure is how many notes are between the two bar lines. Usually most measures have four notes, four, um, four beats uh, for each measure. So what I'll have you do with these is we're going to count them. We've got one, two, three, four, and then because there's a bar line, that means we start a new measure. So we have one, two, three, four. An easy way to start um, with counting, because counting is very, very important. So an easy way to start with counting is to clap it. So usually when you're listening to a song, you can clap to the beat. Most songs are in a four measure beat, or four beat measure. So when we count, we go one, two, three, four. And that's how we do our measure. So count with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like the measure bar that we were looking at earlier. All right, so looking at page five still of your books, we have the song here, this will be our first song, called Right and Left. Now, if you can notice here with our quarter notes, you can see how this one up here, you have the stem pointing upward. This one here, we have the stem pointing down. So, the ones pointing up, those means that you do it with your right hand, your right fingers. Because your right fingers are on the upper side, where the higher notes are. <laughs> of the um, piano. Now the ones here, with the ones pointing down, this is going to be done with the left hand. Because down is the lower side of the keyboard. Okay, so if we have that down, we're going to look at this first top measure here. We're going to ignore this bottom one right now. We're just going to look at this top one. So you see here, you see uh, we look at our chart and how it says that we're doing our fingers on the two houses with two on the bottom house and three on the top house for our right hand. Okay, so we're going to look at this chart again. What I want you to do is I want you to put your hands... Um, right where it says on the chart, right on the two middle houses. I was doing middle C before, but what the chart's showing is we're going to do it up here, right above middle C. See? So I'll have you do that for me, and then we're going to look at this top bar. So this first measure here is just going to have us go two, three, two, three. Two, three, two, Three. That's the first measure. And again, they're um, just one single note, so they get one beat per note. Then we have our second measure, which is two, three, two, three again. So let's try doing these two notes, these two measures by uh, with each other. See, that's pretty easy. Then, I'll have you try the second one here. So we have here, we have the lower part, which will be with the left hand. And we're going to look again, we're going to look at our, um, our position of hands. We have two and three on the two houses. So what I'll have you do, two and three on the two houses below middle C. We look at our measure. And then it's two, three, two, three. And you notice how two and three are going down, where on the left hand they're going up? That's because two and three, you go down a step. Two, down to three. Up to two, down to three. So, if you look at it this way, and watch your books while we're doing this, we got two, three, down. Two, three, two, three, two. Three. All right. See, that's pretty simple. And then what this little double bar here it means, that just means that the song is over. So what we'll have you do then is I'll play it once for you, and then I'll play it once again, and I want you to play with me, okay? Right. One, two, three, four. together. 
together now, okay? We're going to start on four. Ready? One, two, three, four. a little earlier in the video I got a little sloppy with my hands I let them fall down too much and I also had my left hand down in my lap while my right hand was up here don't want to do that that's a bad habit very very bad habit um, it makes it to where it's very sloppy when um, you move to a different hand uh, or you suddenly need to bring your hand to position you always want your hands to stay in position so don't do what I just did so very good, we did our very first song, and I think you did it very well. What we're going to do now is we're going to move on to one more song here for you, okay? So, we're going to take a look up our book, and we're still going to be on page 5. We're going to look at this half note. So, this half note is a lot like the quarter note right up here, except that it's clear, right in the middle. The half note is a long note, and you hold it for two counts. So two counts, when we have one count, we have one, two, three, four. Two counts, we have one, two, three, four. Pretty simple. You just, you skip a note. So you have one, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. Just like that. All right, so what I'll have you do is I'll have you look at this here, and I'll have you count with me. Now remember... It's one, two, three, four. There's always four for now. So when you look at here, you're going to clap or tap once. We're going to start on four. I'm going to tap because I'm holding camera. One, two, three, four. Two, four. Two, four. So... If you're looking at here and we were to play that on middle C, you would have one, two, three, four. So our quarter note would be one, two, three, four. And our half notes would be one, two, three, four. Make sense? So now we come to our, um, our next song which this one is called left and right. So we're going to start with left because the um, stems point downward. And then we're going to move to the right. But before I do that, I just want to look here. Now you'll notice we have two quarter notes and one half note. So when we count this, it's going to be one, two, three, and four. Same here. One, two, three, four. So you hold this one for two notes. So we're going to look here at our positioning. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. That's better. We're going to look here at the positioning. Now we're going to be using the three trees. And you'll notice there's middle C, which is right here, middle C. And then there is the three trees right beside the two houses of middle C. So what I want you to do now is put your fingers there, just in that position. We're going to start off with the left hand here, looking at page 5. And you notice we have finger 2. Then we have finger 3 and finger four. Can you do that for me real quick? One, two, three, four. Just like that. And you notice how they go, oops, how they go down, just like that. And then how these ones go up, it's because we're going stepping down, and then we're stepping up. 
So I'll have uh, you play this one with me real quick, okay? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Four, three, two. Let's try that one more time. Two, three, four. Four, three, two. Okay. So now that we've got that part down, we're going to nail this second part here. Now, notice that the stems are going up. So that means we're going to do it with the right hand. So, same pattern as last time. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, we're looking here because we're going to look back at our positioning chart. The right hand is going to be on the three trees right above middle C. So we have two, three, four, four, three, two. All right, so let's try that one together. Two, three, four, four, three, two. Perfect. So we're gonna try that now. We're gonna do the whole song. And when we do this whole song, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to count it. I'm not going to say the finger positions. I'm going to let you do that all by yourself. We're just going to count. All right, so fingers in position. Y'all ready? Left and right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. for good measure. Remember, when we go to this, um, go back to the right hand, just watch for where the stems are and make sure the stems are pointing up. One, two, three, four. So that concludes our very first lesson. I think you guys did a wonderful job, and uh, you were such a big help. I know Ezio really appreciated the hard work you guys put in. And these are really, really simple, but it's the basics that are the most important. And once we get those down, then we'll be able to have some really fun, really cool fun playing some really awesome music. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and comment.